As everyone here knows, we received the word this morning that Jim Poulian was shot and murdered in front of the Owasa High School while he held a picture of a beautiful baby boy. Um, Jim was known and loved for 20 years at least in the pro-life movement. Jim the sign guy is what people called him because he was constantly carrying around signs. Some of aborted babies who were killed by safe legal abortion and some of healthy babies. This morning he was holding a sign uh, with a picture of Jeremiah Truella, uh, which was taken in 1993. It's a picture that's been used all over the world on pro-life signs. It's a little four-week baby boy and it's pretty much a tight head shot and it just says life on the sign. Uh, Jim was doing what he does very often. He was seated at a, uh, in his chair, he had his oxygen, um, his oxygen hooked up and a man, 33 year old assailant came up and shot him several times and he died. We pray that he receives a martyr's crown and that his work will be not just remembered but lionized. There are many timid souls in the pro-life movement who are afraid of conflict and especially afraid of the reaction that showing both babies and aborted babies brings, especially aborted children. And one thing I want to say to all of my pro-life comrades around the country, and that is this, don't fear, don't stop. We must go forward. Don't flinch, don't retreat a single inch. Keep telling the truth and keep showing the truth because God is the God of truth. We have to show these babies, and we have to be willing to pay a price. If you look at other historic social revolutions, the Civil Rights Movement had martyrs, the labor movement to stop oppression of slave wages had martyrs, the abolitionist movement had martyrs, and from every indication we have right now, uh, Jim appears to be the first pro-life martyr, and may God reward him richly. Abortion is murder, and when, when violence of this nature is sown, it is going to lead to more violence. We're dealing with a movement of death. The abortionists deliberately rip people apart, crush their skulls, throw their bodies in landfills and in sewers. So it should be no surprise that somebody would use lethal force against someone who was defending babies from lethal force. I'm joined today by Missy Smith, who is the founder and director of Wake Up, and by Rusty Thomas uh, from Elijah Ministries in Texas. Uh, both of them have a statement. Missy. This is a very sad day for pro-lifers across the country. Um, this is our first martyr. Um, it certainly shows the, the emotion and tenor across the country. Uh, the defensiveness uh, for those of us that speak up for the slaughtering of innocent children. Um, I too want to encourage people to continue to uh, be brave, to speak up. Don't allow this uh, terrible act of murder to, uh, to slow us down. Uh, continue to speak boldly, uh, to stand beside your images, uh, to sacrifice if need be, uh, to go to jail uh, for what you believe because there are 4,000 innocent children that are being slaughtered a day. The brains of little babies are being sucked out every single day. And we must stand up, as Mother Teresa said, a country that kills its own children is a country without hope. So let us all continue to have courage to see this man who was disabled himself. He was unprotected, and he was murdered while he was giving witness to life. So we have to look to him and continue to show the truth and let God shine through us. Let us be his voice, his feet, his hands, his arms, and speak up for the defenseless and the unprotected. Uh, Alan and I was in the Senate building and lobbying our senators. I 
to be a check and balance against the tyranny that's happening in our nation where our government threatens to take our tax dollars and use it to kill our neighbor. And I find it ironic we were on the streets in front of those buildings holding even more graphic signs than Brother Jim. And we were preaching. And I thought, my gosh, this man was shot dead doing the very things that we were doing this morning. And obviously that was sobering. And uh, immediately tears came to my eyes. My heart was broken. Alan and I had to stop what we were doing and just pray. Just pray for Jim's family that I'm sure is suffering grief and loss for this precious man that I've had the privilege for many years to go from battlefront after battlefront against the culture of death that is savaging our nation. And on the behalf of Jim and his family, I just want to declare the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No greater love hath a man than he lay down his life for his friends. And apparently for Jim, that's just not empty rhetoric. He has paid that price. And may the Lord receive him into glory. And may his works follow in Jesus' name. Amen. A word to our pro-life friends, especially those who are devout followers of Jesus. Jesus said, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. And there, there has to be a willingness in us to actually lay down our lives, if need be, in this fight to end child killing. And I submit to you and to those who see us, read about this, watch this, if you will say, God, here am I, send me. And if need be, Lord, I will actually literally lay down my life in this field of battle to end child killing. I will be a martyr. If you will make that commitment, it will free you. It doesn't terrify, it frees, it liberates. And if you look at the early church in the book of Acts, when martyrdoms began to take place, it actually had an emboldening effect upon the faithful. I know when I first heard, I, I thought, as, uh, as Rusty did, we were doing this this morning. We were holding up signs this morning outside of Capitol, big signs, preaching to the staff as they went in. And I, others in this movement, have received death threats repeatedly over the years. But we cannot allow fear to grip us, and we cannot allow the threats of our enemies to intimidate us or to cause us to hold back one iota of our words, or one iota of our actions. And so, I say again, abortion is murder. Those of you in the child killing industry, the days of legalized child killing are numbered. We will work we will suffer, we will sacrifice, and if need be, we will lay down our lives to drive this demonic movement back to hell where it came from. There is a God in heaven who judges men and nations, who is the defender of the innocent, who hears the cry of the innocent, who hears the cry of blood that is howling from the land, the land fills the sewers of this nation where their precious lives have been snuffed out and where their bodies have been discarded. We will not stop until we have vanquished this evil from our land. So help us, God. Amen.